continuing to add a bunch of talent to that quarterback room. You guys just picked up four-star quarterback in the class of 2024, Michael Hawkins. Whoa! Whoa! Hold on a second! Hold on a second! No, 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 no. I don't think y'all understand how impressive this throw is. If this is if this is the 50-yard line right here, he's throwing this from the 45 and drops an absolute dot into the middle. This is a 50-yard throw, rolling away from your throwing arm, and you just flick your wrist and just drop an absolute dime. Okay, Oklahoma. Nah, this is Michael Hawkins. This kid is ridiculous. That's, all, that's the only thing I need to see. Oh, don't tell me he's mobile, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me he's got a little bit of juice, too. Don't tell me he's got a little bit of speed. Oh, wait, get to the balance. Let's go. Nah, all my student fans, leave this video a like. Hey, you guys just picked up Kevin Sperry in the class of 2025, one of the top quarterbacks in that class. You guys obviously have Jackson Arnold coming in there this upcoming season. Michael Hawkins, for some reason, he's ranked as a three and a half star quarterback. He's a, he's a four star on 24 seven or on the composite, but 24 seven sports has him as a three star guy. This kid has unlimited potential. If you're able to throw, roll away from your throwing arm and just flick your wrist and drop a 50 yard dot into the back of the end zone. I, yo, nah, this kid has some ridiculous arm talent. You see, there's just certain players that they just pass the eye test. A guy like Michael Hawkins passes that eye test. I mean, just look at look at the velocity that he. This is not an easy throw. He's on the opposite hash, throwing it to the opposite sideline. Boom, bow. Like, like that ball's getting on him with some velocity. Hey, all my Sooner fans, y'all gonna have some QBs. Like you guys are gonna have a ton of options to pick from in that quarterback room. I want to see him run again. I, I gotta I gotta see what this speed's looking like. Is he is he a uh, Four seven guy, or is he more of a four six four five guy? Because if he's more of a four six four five guy, this guy he's already six one six two. Let me let me see that. That's looking that's looking a little closer to four six. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, just look at him. He doesn't even care. Just steps up, huh. throwing the straight spear into the back of the end zone. Oh yeah, okay. I don't know who. I, well, I do know. There's a there's a lot of talent in the class of 2024 at the quarterback position. I don't know how many. I, I don't know that many quarterbacks that I'm that I'm ranking higher than Michael Michael Hawkins. He he might just be doing absolutely dog water at these camps, and that's why he's ranked so low. I don't care. He's playing for Allen too. He's he's playing the toughest level of high school football that you can. Now this this dude's going crazy with these throws. He's literally just squaring up, flicking the wrist from the 15 to the 45. Like my guy is just dropping a 40 yard dot to the side. Like th those are not normal throws. You are not supposed to be able to make that throw normally. Like bro, stepping up 45, boom, back of the end zone. Dime, like, come on! All my Sooner fans, y'all need to leave. You don't need to smash the like, like button. This kid is going to be special for y'all. The number one thing is just is just seeing if he can put it all together because he has a very Philip Rivers throwing style where he's like, it looks like he's like pushing the ball forward. But hey, we all saw Philip Rivers had a great career, great mobility. He can move around. Uh, just look at how calm he is in the pocket, and then he can take off as well. Yeah, I see him being in the higher four sixes for that forty time, but he can move. I mean, hey, mid four sixes as a, as a quarterback is guess getting it done. So that might have single handedly been one of the most impressive quarterback highlights that I've seen in a while, let alone in the class of twenty twenty four. All my Oklahoma Sooner fans, y'all should be. Elated. I mean, you guys are literally going to go into a great era with Jackson Arnold. I think that Jackson Arnold is going to be one of the best quarterbacks in Oklahoma student history. I love the way that that kid plays. He throws a great ball. He just he comes from a winning pedigree. You guys got Kevin Sperry locked up in 2025. So you, so you already got the quarterback two years from now. The class of 2024 with Michael Hawkins. If he's able to break down and understand that playbook, and bring that level of excitement to the field. Hey, it's going to be a party in Norman. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be a lot of good Saturdays in Norman, Oklahoma, if Michael Hawkins is able to put it all together because he 
is special. He is that X factor. He passes the eye test. He has all of the great attributes that you're looking for. Strong arm, mobile. He can, the ball placement while under duress, he could throw it off platform. He can extend plays. Great spiral. He could he could rifle the ball in there. Like there's not a lot. Like maybe on the touch passes, I would like to see a little bit more when it comes to some touch. It does look like he's rifling a lot of passes. But touch is something that you can teach. You can't teach a lot of the stuff that Michael Hawkins has. So hey, Sooner fans, stand up because y'all got y'all would. But I need to hear from y'all. All my Oklahoma Sooner fans, leave your new QB a big warm welcome in the comment section and leave this video a like showing the support for this pick as well as hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. You do not want to miss any of the videos that we're dropping. We cover Oklahoma football all the time, keeping you up to date with all the latest news for the Sooners as well as Sooner Spring Game is coming up. We're going to be doing a full-on breakdown of that so you guys are not going to want to miss out on that. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.